the intriguing art of Breath of Fire from Tatsuya Yoshikawa. Even though he worked on all Breath of Fire games, he was responsible for character design of the third, fourth and fifth installment. Other notable Capcom games are Devil May Cry and Mega Man X. Today we're going to look at the sketches and illustrations from the Breath of Fire series. Breath of Fire 3 starts off with the recurrent blue haired protagonist Ryu. He wakes up in the mines as a dragon whelp and goes on to a journey to find out the mystery behind his origin. In the two prior installments Ryu had tail, however they gave him short hair this time around. Moreover they added more armor to his clothing but kept the classic white and red colors in the design. Compared to the other games this version is the most muscular and bulky. The blonde haired Nina is also a recurrent character of the game. She is a princess from Windia and is recognizable for her wings, long legs and short skirts. Her concept art went through a couple of different stylistic changes, from cute girl to adventurer. Tipo starts off as Ryu's childhood friend but changes as the story progresses. He has a lot more slender design and cutting facial expression compared to Ryu. Ray is a young warren. With his wild looks you could imagine he can change into a berserk tiger. Gar is a guardian who hunts a bird. He reminds me a bit of Akuma from Street Fighter. The main mechanic in Breath of Fire is that you can change into different types of dragons. In this case they designed some cool hybrid forms that have all kinds of creatures mixed in, from serpents, tigers to turtle. Although on the first glance it might not look like it. The main art style is angular, meaning a lot of corners are quite sharp. This is masked by the gentle curves building up to this point. The coloring style is bright and emits a lot of energy that pops the illustration off the canvas. I think the basic eye designs are extremely effective for expressions and emotions. Breath of Fire 4's story is about a dragon, also known as an endless, that was split into two separate entities during its summoning process. One half is in the form of Ryu, who possesses the dragon's eye that has the power to rule or ruin the land. That said, he has a casual appearance and a stoic personality. This time around he has a tail and his clothing reminds me a bit of Ryu from Street Fighter 2. The other half is in the form of Fu Lu, who through time dilation had an earlier start and became emperor. He has long white hair and has a cunning expression and design, similar to Tipo. Moreover his clothing is inspired by Chinese styles and has sacred Om symbol on the back. He also has two Shishi guardians named Wonku and Ate, inspired by Japanese mythology. Naturally Nina also returns with her usual assets, however this time around she has a bit of a girl next door design. Friendly and energetic. Kray is a chief of the Warren tribe. His design has influences of Rey in the last game. He has a trained physique and his clothing is inspired by Native American culture. Ursula is a commander of the Fu army. She resembles the grassrunner race that is similar to Momo. Despite, her appearance is the total opposite. Harsh and collected. Ursula is a piece of armor that is possessed by the spirit, an endless. Its eyes and round body structure reminds me of Robo from Chrono Trigger. That said, if you ask me, because of the Shinto religion, Japanese artists excel in these type of strange yet believable designs. Saius is a mysterious canine mercenary. His samurai appearance brings his sword skills to justice. The dragons are totally different and unique compared to the prior installments. Ryu's main form is based off of the warrior from Breath of Fire 3, a human dragon hybrid. The hour form is more of a salamander, seen as a young version of the dragons. Wyvern and Serpents show clear elemental preferences. Kaiser and Tyrant resemble the sun and the moon respectively. Even though some of the dragons can be recognized as one, most are bizarre due to their element and animal combination. The art design between both Breath of Fire 3 and 4 are alike, yet different. In general Sam, Breath of Fire 4 has more slim and taller body designs. In addition, the line art in 4 lost its angular corners by making them softer and curved. While the cornering style is similar, it has a softer paint like tone which is a lot less saturated than the punchy Breath of Fire 3 coloring palette. This gives the art and paint a pastel feel. Breath of Fire 5 Dragon Quarter the game that takes us in the depths of earth with a group of characters who try to make their way back to the surface. This game changed the series and mixed up the basic formula to create its own unique taste in every aspect. Even though the majority of us will agree that it was better to be its own entity or spin-offs of the main series, I think the dark steampunk art style is excellent for its story. Ryu is a low ranked ranger and this time around has dark blue hair with black red clothing. His body structure is long and slender and compared to the prior installments has a modern design. Even having Cupid's pet at one point. 
I found one particular design where he looks like a mine worker interesting and most resembling to the prior installments. Nina is a 14 year old girl that has wings that functions as an air purifier for the polluted underground regions. Just like Ryu they drastically changed her. To some degree I can understand that. However, they went too far with the weak homeless girl stereotype. Some of her earlier sketches does show her as a princess and adventurer, a concept which I prefer. Lin is an agent of Trinity, an anti-government organization that rebels against the regions. Her design reminds me of Ursula, however they originally intended her to be more like a Nia Day's character. Bosch is a friend and ranger partner of Ryu, an elitist with a troubled childhood. His designs and smirky face fits his personality and circumstances. When we look at his original designs, his sketches vary from being a proud knight to a breath of fire to bow lookalike. Elion is the leader of the regions, the most powerful being in the world with his 1 4 D ratio. His design was based on Fu Lu to some extent. Ryu's basic form is a berserker version of the breath of fire 4 design. In case of two main dragons, Ojin and Chitter, they look awesome. They remind me of Kaiser and Tarant, only bulkier. Especially this image and scene was well put together. In my eyes it's a reference to Adam from Neo Genesis Evangel and it's a classic example of what humans will do to mythical creatures like these. The basic art design is quite slick and clean. The colors are dark in tone and combined with the underlit atmospheric scenes it gives you the impression of a believable post-apocalyptic world. Here are some background arts that show a lot of different world designs, from medieval western culture to sci-fi space palaces. I'm fancy light novel author GP Fuchs and currently looking into the works of Akiko Yoshida, a character designer of multiple Final Fantasy games and their part in the world of Ivelisse, an artist with an amazing portfolio of memorable games. And be sure to check out my books on my Amazon page and subscribe to my channel for regular in-depth styles of manga artists of our favorite video games.